Good morning, Men, Missouri. It is a day full of new beginnings. The playoffs begin for the Cardinals, the season starts for the St. Louis Blues, and the Missouri Tigers kick off SEC play in Nashville this Saturday against the Vanderbilt Commodores. A woman embezzles thousands from a St. Louis area church and two juveniles are killed in a home fire in rural Missouri. KOMU8's Michael Dowda. Dowda is here with your news from around the state. Thank you so much, Megan. A suburban St. Louis woman admits to taking more than $300,000 from a church. Federal prosecutors say 52-year-old Elaine Lewis of Finn pleaded guilty to mail fraud Tuesday. Authorities say she used a variety of schemes to embezzle money from the church's checking account. Lewis worked as a bookkeeper at the Lutheran Church of the Resurrection in St. Louis County from 2009 through August of this year. She could face up to 20 years in prison. A fire in western Missouri home left two juveniles dead and one man hospitalized with severe burns. The Ray County Sheriff's Office says the fire broke out Tuesday afternoon in an Oric home. Oric is a rural town of about 800 residents about 30 miles northeast of Kansas City. The Oric Fire Chief says fire crews found the home fully engulfed in flames. The sheriff's office says the crew who found the two who died in a bedroom but have not yet released the identities. A popular Swedish retail giant could soon be building a location in St. Louis and a deadly accident in Kansas City on I-35 last night. KOMU 8's Michael Doudna is here with your news from around the state. Well, thank you so much, Megan. And that's right, the popular Swedish retailer IKEA announced it will hold a news conference this morning at 1030 regarding plans for a proposed store in St. Louis. Last September, IKEA fans in St. Louis were disappointed when the retailer said it was passing up the area to build a store in Kansas City instead. However, it looks like the southwest corner of Van Venter and Forest Park Avenue in St. Louis will be the next location for the furniture giant. A pedestrian trying to cross the I-35 Kansas City during the evening rush hour last night was struck and killed by a metro bus. Police in the Kansas City Area Transportation Authority say the accident happened just after 5 p.m. on the northbound I-35. The accident caused a massive backup on I-35 highway. The Missouri Highway Patrol investigated the accident, and authorities have not identified the pedestrian. No one aboard the bus was injured, though. A police found a Western Illinois man dead on his living room floor Monday night and found his roommate relaxing on the couch near the body. Authorities identified the victim as 59-year-old Richard Felt. His roommate was a younger man who felt had given a job and a place to live. Police say he had been stabbed multiple times and that the body had been there for more than a day. The police chief says charges against the 23-year-old roommate will be considered once autopsy results on the body.